the most important game is the next game tomorrow night against Charlotte. But with that being said, we all know, you know, that your last home game here. Just how do you stay focused on the game tomorrow? Uh, we just just got to come in with the mindset of, of taking uh, the game on Thursday uh, seriously, and, and we just got to come up prepared to win, and not and not worry about the future. Justin, this is your last week here playing at Diddle. What, what does this place mean to you? I mean, it's 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 my second home for real because I've been here so long, and uh, I think I'm you know moving to the top ten all time games played here. So you know, it's a uh, it's been a place that's, like I said, I call home. It's a place that, you know, you can come in at any time of the night when something's going, you know, just having a bad night or something, get shots up. And uh, it's a, it's just, you know, it's meant a lot to me over the past four years. And uh, it's just been a big part of my life, so. Justin, Coach was talking earlier about Dwight and Darius and how, they they kind of brought a winning attitude to the program because they came from winning programs, kind of knew knew how to win. Did you see that with those guys? That yeah, you know, they brought some some experience that's really been beneficial to the team. Yeah, I mean those guys, you know, like like Coach said, they they came from two high major programs, who you know top ten teams in the country, and. Um, Obviously, they've they've played under you know coaches and played with guys who have played at a high level. So of course they brought that to the table when they come here. So, Darius, how has this year gone? Maybe compared to the way you expected it to, and how much have you really enjoyed your time here playing, playing one season at Western? I mean, I've had a blast since I've been here, since day one, uh, just the summer, getting to go to Costa Rica. I mean, it's been fun since day one. Uh, the group of guys we have has been of a joy to be around every day. It doesn't seem like I'm going in to work hard. Well, obviously we're working hard, but like it's not like a like force to get up and go to practice every day. I love being around these guys and practicing and competing with them. It's been a great year. I definitely came in thinking we had a chance to be pretty good, and and we showed that we're better than what most people expected expected us to be. So just competing, going out there with these guys every day. I think we still have a lot of good basketball left in us. Terry, you got Charlotte opening in. Middle UAB, four really tough games coming up. How, how much fun will these next couple weeks be? It's going to be huge. I mean, that's what we want. We want to go against the best competition we can, and this last stretch is going to probably be the toughest one we've had all year. But I mean, that's what that's what we come here every day for to to go against the best. Justin, um, you're the you're the one person up here that went through a coaching change here, and, and by the time I moved here, Coach Sanford was already here. But take me back. You know the emotions of going through the coaching change. I'm sure every student athlete ponders, you know, transferring and everything. You stay, and just how glad are you that you stay? I mean, I think uh, me and uh, Chad sat down yesterday and talked a, bit, a little bit about this. And uh, going through a coaching change is never easy. And I think the the most wor the word I would use the most was shell shocked, kind of, because you know. Um, when you've been here and you've, you've kind of established yourself for you know two seasons and then you get a coach change, you, the biggest question you ask yourself, how am I going to fit in with a new coach? Do I fit his system? Is he going to bring guys in that are, that he, that are his guys and you know play over me? Or what's what's going to happen? So in the back of your mind, is you're all you're thinking like you know, do I want to stay here? This is the first your first thought because you know of what he's bringing to the table, and you know. I would go back. I wouldn't change anything. You know, I'm glad that I stayed here for four years because, like I said, it's been a home. Um, Coach Stansbury's come in and, you know, he's expanded my game, gave me the freedom to, you know, step out, shoot the ball, and just and then he's, then he's put guys around me that who've who've made me better, such as these guys. You know, so uh, going back, I wouldn't change anything. And it's, uh, you know, it's been a it's been a journey up and down, but it's, it's you know, it's been a really good ride. So. Justin, can I ask a follow-up? And I, I go back, when you guys are at our station, all three of you guys, to do the uh, season ticket promotional spot, and just listening to you visit with Dwight and Darius, just the way, I could just tell how you guys hit it off right away. And Justin, what does it mean in such a short time, the chemistry that you've had with the two guys sitting on your left, not just on, but off the court, it just seems so genuine. 
I mean, yeah, so me and, me and Darius are roommates on the road, so, you know, me and him have become, you know, like best friends around here because the, the, the chemistry that we built and everything. But, uh, um, but he's, you know, he's, he's been a, a great guy just on and off the court basketball-wise. You know, he's taught me a lot on the court just the way he can, he can pass the ball and everything. And then off the court, he's a guy, you know, you want to hang out with because, you know, those, those guys are, you know, mature guys and they've been around kind of like I have. And then Dwight, you know, just playing with another big who can, you know, do what he does inside the paint, you know, dominate and everything. And then, you know, it was one of the coolest experiences with him was, you know, the Bahamas seeing where his family and everything and them inviting us in. So, I mean, it's been, you know, with these guys, it's been a, you know, a really good journey. So. Darius, I'm going to, you acted like you wanted to say something there. And I'm going to give you a four. Is there stuff you wanted to add? No, nah, there's nothing to really add. He uh, made a good good point. We were just roommates and having fun all the time, even though he's kind of annoying and most of the time. But it's still, <laughs> it's still a good time to be around him. We have fun for sure. Uh, Dwight, Charlotte, you look at their record, and you might think they're not that great. But then you see, you know, they lost the middle by six and took UTSA to overtime. What kind of challenges do they bring? Uh, they, they have a very physical uh, team. Uh, I think we was it was kind of pretty much a close game. We kind of like uh, fought with them the whole the whole game. Uh, most people thought it would probably be an easy win for us, but it was it was just a grind out game, and we just got to take every game as, as the same and just and just take it serious and, and, and come to compete. Well, Justin, you used to be a six foot one point guard. I did. Yeah, did you get the news on that one? <laughs> yeah, I did. Uh, I was going uh, going into my my freshman year of high school. I was six one, about one hundred eighty five pounds, and backup point guard. And uh, our starting point guard got the flu and had to go home. And I got the, got the start. And uh, and uh, my, this is my new coach at my high school. And uh, the first, I think, like the first play of the game, I got stripped and the guy went down and dunked. And he called a timeout and grabbed me by my jersey. And was just, and I never even met the guy. I was playing JV, and he just like called me up. But it was my head coach for my high school career. But yeah. So why you still bring the ball to the court sometimes? Yeah. Oh yeah. So we got. I mean, just, you know, the point guard still back in my head sometimes. <laughs> but yeah. Well, as someone who's played a lot of college basketball, how much do you really enjoy this time of year? I mean, how much is this what you look forward to all season, these last few weeks of the regular season to get in the tournament time? Uh, all, all I really think about is this, this winning time. So, I mean, the last few games, uh, it's going to get tight, and the competition is going to going to rise up. Everybody come and give you your best shot. You just got to be prepared uh, around this time because you're trying to make it to the tournament and all that stuff. So you just got to bring your best basketball this time of the year. Justin, when WKU fans, 20, to, 20 years down the road, when they think of Justin Johnson, what do you want them to remember? What do you want your legacy to be? Oh, God. <laughs> 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 These guys are... Um, just, a, just a good dude, man. Like you know, on and off the court, you know, it's it's great that you know they can remember me some of the accomplishments uh, on the court. But you know, it's uh, I'd rather be recognized as like you know a good dude off the court because that that goes a lot longer in life than uh, what a basketball does. So, Justin, you've been here four years now. Had a lot of turnover in the program, coaching wise. You want to kick off people have transferred. What has really separated your senior season from your first year seasons consistently having success? I mean, just winning, really. I mean, that's at the end of the day, that's what I came here to do. And um, this group is is locked in more than any group I've been around. And, uh, you know, everybody has the same goals um, on this team. They uh, No one cares about who scores or they just, at the end of the day, we just want to look up at the, at the end of the game and have more points than the other team and um, we I think everybody wants to make a run into March and that's what we've we've done you know every, with having everybody on the same page and uh, going into practice this last couple of weeks I think these guys are, agree our practices have been more intense guys have been more locked in and we've got more done and I think you're starting to see it too everybody good yeah. can I ask one more yeah. for, for Darius uh, Darius uh, Obviously, this is your your third college play, play basketball, and I guess what does it mean to, to, to your last season to play college basketball to end it the right way? You know, again, you just seem like you're enjoying yourself, and not saying you didn't before, but just your last year, 
is going to be one that you're going to remember fondly. What does that mean? I uh, just kind of want to go out with a bang, kind of want to go out there and be remembered for my my abilities of playing. And just with with these last few guys, these guys over here, we only have for sure what four or five more games. So I want to just go out there and go go as hard as we can and and, and have fun while we're going and make it make the most out of every every opportunity we have. All right.